Hola, Gordon. Hola, Greg. <risa> Bienvenidos a Meet the Socios. Gracias. Greg, thank you very, very much for doing this uh, interview. And I know we've, we've had a bad start because we were both waiting for one another. <laughs> Nobody called one another, but never mind. Um, Greg, uh, tell us, let's start. Tell us a little bit about you. Where are you? Where do you live? What do you do? Okay, we're going to start in English, see? In English, yes. Yeah. See. Okay. Uh, so I live in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, roughly halfway around the world from you, and um, at the moment I I don't really want to say I'm retired, but uh, that's the dog. This, sorry, I'm not. I don't want to say I'm retired, but uh, I don't exactly work apart from uh, studying Spanish and a few computer projects. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, I live in Vancouver. I have two kids that are about between 18 and 20 years old, and a spouse who is sleeping at the moment because it's six in the morning, and. Um, uh, I spend an awful lot of time on Spanish, mm. something that uh, me fascina totalmente uh -huh. uh, for um, casi cinco años ahora. Y uh, uh, la verdad es que uh, uh, paso mucho tiempo um, estudiando español. Uh, probably too, too much time, actually. But <laughs> There's <laughs> never too much time. You can never spend too much time. Um, t Greg, you you are what I would say is probably one of the one of the the most loyal Lightspeed Spanish followers that we've got. You've you've been our, we, we've we've had private lessons you and I for quite a while, haven't we? Well, we we don't do them now, but we have. You've been on our immersion course. Uh, you're a Ser Socio member. Um, how did you find Lightspeed, Lightspeed Spanish originally? I found it in a, uh, I used, I, did, I don't anymore, but I used to be a big follower of Reddit Spanish, which is a forum of questions and answers. Mm -hmm. And somebody had posted a question, you know, what's your favorite resources for learning Spanish? And there's a big long list. Um, and your name came up on there. And I went to look at the video and I just, I really liked the, uh, the, uh, the video and the way that you talked and I could understand you very easily. Mm -hmm. And it all, I think a week or so later, I sent you an email and said, I was thinking of taking classes. What do you think? And uh, we went from there. Wow. Yeah, and and yeah, Light Street Spanish is probably probably my biggest Spanish thing. So I have a bunch of Spanish things, and and Light Speed Spanish is probably the biggest one in the sense that every week I'm listening to the Ser Socio videos, and I'm constantly going back over them, and um, as well as the videos, the ones outside of Ser Socio, of which I think there are. Last time I looked, there was about 500. I think you have. I don't think there's anybody, there's so many people that have Spanish learning channels on YouTube, but I don't think anybody else even comes close to the, to the number of uh, videos that you have. Hmm. And they're all super interesting. You know, they're all really, really, it's a really good mix. Uh, I sound like I'm here to promote you and I'm not really, but, I'm, but that's what I'm kind of ending up doing. Um, I really, uh, in every, as I've said to you many times before, there's always, I look at a video and I think, oh, I already know this, you know, I, I don't need to listen to this. And then every time there's a little thing, it's like, oh, I didn't know that. That's super interesting. And then I go off and I'm done for the day. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot, lots and lots of students have said to us, for example, they said, oh, we, we I, I just didn't listen to any of the beginners podcasts at all. And now I'm going back to them and thinking, why didn't I listen to the beginners? Because there is some important bits that, that you build it's your Spanish on. Yeah, no, there's tons of stuff in the beginners area that, um, um, yeah, maybe beginners stuff, but there's all sorts of little little subtleties that uh, I don't realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Greg, just before we launch into Spanish, how long have you been learning Spanish in total now? Um, around four years, I think, maybe five. Okay. Uh, a long time. Yeah. 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 But first, the first year, I wasn't really that serious. The first, and I look back on it now, and I think, you know, what was I thinking? Uh, the first year I was, I started with a course in the university, three hours a week, or maybe, I think it was two classes a week, three hours per class, so six hours a week. And after that finished, I had a private tutor I was going to once a week. And at the time I thought, okay, I'm doing an hour a week. And, you know, I practice every day with, you know, I was probably doing flashcards, 15 minutes a day. And I thought, oh, that's good. You know, if I do this for a while, I should, pick. and now I look at that, I think, I mean, that's not even, you know, that's something I can, I would do like before breakfast you know now it's, it's like I, it, one of the things um you know i think you really need to do is is uh, and if you read on the internet there's so many theories about what you shouldn't shouldn't do and and everybody has their own opinion and what works for them but one thing i do think is an absolute truth is that you need to do stuff every day 
if you do so, if you're studying once a week, uh, I just can't see how you, unless you're in a, a, a total genius, I just don't see how you're going to get anywhere. So I try to do stuff every day. I agree. I agree completely with that. that unless you do something every day, it won't go in. It just skims off the surface. Okay, Greg. Um, right, so let's let's chat in Spanish for a bit and let people hear how hard you've worked at your Spanish over the last four to five years. Well, yeah? no. <laughs> bueno, Greg, entonces para empezar. Eh, por... ¿Qué significa empezar? Empezar. No, es... <laughs> <Sin problemas. laughs> vale, ¿Qué, ¿qué significa entonces? Vale, eh, Greg. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué estás tan obsesionado con el español? Bueno, no puedo explicarlo, de verdad. Pero por, por muchos años, uh, durante mi, los, los años de trabajar, uh, había pensado que debería uh, aprender, uh, o debería uh, uh, jugar un deporte, debería tocar un instrumento de música y debería aprender un idioma. Y... <coughs> Um, he probado las tres y solo el idioma ha, ha, ha durado. O ha, ha, dura, sí. ha durado, ha, sí. ha salido bien, ¿no? Sí, ha salido bien, sí. Y cuando empecé, cuando empecé a, a, a estudiar español, estaba pensando, quizá voy a aprender algo interesante, quizá voy a hacer esto por un año o algunos meses o algo así, y uh, no podría haber uh, uh, prohibido. El, el cambio total en mi, mi, uh, mi, mi mente que, que uh, uh, ha pasado por el español. Uh -huh. la, la verdad es que ha cambiado mi vida. Uh -huh. uh, and, no, it, it, like, todavía tengo la misma esposa y la misma casa y los mismos niños y, y uh, el mismo falta de trabajo, pero, um, pero ha cambiado mi uh, manera de, uh, de ver el mundo y mi actitud hacia otros países y otra gente y cultura totalmente. Sí, 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 sí. sí. Y, y, sí me encantan todos los aspectos de español. Es súper, súper interesante para mí. Uh -huh. Y tú, tú hablas con, con personas de habla hispana por todo el mundo, ¿verdad? Por Skype. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Tengo, en este momento creo que tengo, tengo una persona cada día, más o menos. Sí. Um, hay una persona con la que hablo, uh, la misma persona, tres veces cada semana. Pero uh, tengo algo cada día o muchos días uh, más de una persona en un día. Y um, de muchos países, de, uh, en este momento dos de España, uh, México, Honduras, Costa Rica, Uruguay, uh, Perú y uh, oh, Colombia. Uf, el chico de Colombia es súper, súper bueno. Pero, sí. Sí. Eh, fenomenal, Greg. Es que... Es que lo que haces, vale, vas, a, vas a llegar a tener un nivel fenomenal de español, sin duda. Ya, ya, ya lo tienes, pero yo sé que, en tu opinión, todavía no has llegado, ¿verdad? Todavía oh, hay no, más que no. hacer. Sí, siempre hay más. Y, y trato de evitar comparaciones y trato de, de evitar pensar en niveles, porque siempre, siempre en, en, en español, en idiomas, en, en vida, siempre hay algo mejor. Sí. Sí. En, este caso, en, en mi caso, Brenda. Sí. <risa> Brenda, sí. sí, sí. Es, 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 es fenomenal y, y uh, trato de evitar hacer comparaciones entre yo y Brenda. Es, uh, también otros, otros estudiantes, pero es, es, uh, creo que deberíamos uh, evitar estos uh, tipos sí. de pensamientos. Sí, sí, sí. Yo, es lo, algo que digo yo con frecuencia, que no, no te compares con nadie. Porque somos todos distintos, ¿no? Una pregunta, Greg. Eh, sí. En, vale, con el español, ¿cuál es la, la parte que para ti, que es más fácil para ti? La parte más fácil de aprender. Eh, quizá el término no es fácil, pero lo que me interesa muchísimo es, son las reglas y la estructura y la gramática sí. y las sutilezas. Like muchas veces en Facebook o en, uh, en Ser Socio hay un comentario o un ejemplo de algo nuevo relacionado con el subjuntivo o el imperfecto, el uso de C, y es just, just me fascina totalmente, es súper, súper interesante. Mm -hmm. Y uh, uh, podría pensar de estos ejemplos por horas, es just, sí. es, 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 me, me encantan. Sí. 
uh, todos los detalles. Y creo que por muchos otros estudiantes es, es, es uh, lo malo, es lo, o lo, lo abadido es, es las reglas y las, los detalles. Y la verdad, es, es una debilidad para mí también, porque creo que a veces uh, uh, presto demasiado atención a, a, a estas cosas y debería prestar más atención en, en pronunciación y escuchar y otras cosas. Y por, eh, al, ¿Al fin del día? ¿Tiene sentido al fin del día en español? Yeah, sí, uh, o oh, al fin de cuentas. Sí, al fin de cuentas. Okay. Al fin de cuentas, uh, lo importante es, es la conversación y, 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 y um, escuchando y entendiendo. Y, um, um, en, 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 las reglas y la gramática eh, son importantes, pero no son tan importantes. Lo importante es, es hablar, hablar bien y escuchar bien. Sí. Es, es, son mis debilidades, sin duda. Pero también lo importante es que lo, lo pases bien. Entonces, si a ti te gusta, que te, que te guste, ¿no? Muy bien. Sí. Vale. Sí, 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 eh, sí, sí. Y Greg, la parte más eh, difícil o el reto más grande de aprender es, español. Es escuchar con alguien con un desconocido. Mm -hmm. uh, con contigo o con Brenda o con otros estudiantes. Uh, o en general, cuando estoy hablando cara a cara, es bastante fácil. Pero, por ejemplo, en la calle de España con un taxista o un camarero en el restaurante, es súper difícil para mí. Just uh, la velocidad y el vocabulario y los, 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 uh, expresión, las expresiones es uh, uh, ser súper difícil para mí. So, en este momento estoy tratando de enfocar totalmente Just también, just para tratar de, de, de uh, mejorar uh, mi capacidad de, uh, de uh, escuchar muchas personas, muchos, muchos acentos y claro. mucho vocabulario. Sí, 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 sí. Es sí, sí. difícil para mí, sin duda. Sí. E y tengo, es... muchísima, tengo muchísima admiración por, por uh, esas personas que pueden uh, uh, escuchar y entender sin mucho esfuerzo. Es, no entiendo uh, cómo pueden hacerlo. Es súper, súper... Uh, hay, hay para todo, ¿no? Hay personas que pueden e entender fácilmente, pero no pueden hablar tan bien, o pueden hablar bien, y, pero les, les cuesta escuchar. Depende, de, cada, cada persona tiene su, su fuerte, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. sí. Ah. Eh, una, vale, la última pregunta en español, Greg, si fueras a empezar de nuevo a aprender español, ¿qué harías? Uh. Trataría de mantener una, una ¿cómo dicen? expediente o una o notas, notas, uh -huh. uh, or notas más organizadas. Tengo muchísimas notas, tengo libros, or cuadernos así, yo uh -huh. no de uh, notas, pero uh, son súper desorganizados, des desorganizadas. Y um, um, deseo que uh, pueda tener una, una um, expediente. Mejor de todas las cosas que he aprendido durante todas estas conversaciones y, y um, um, lecciones uh, con sí. maestros de español. Sí. So, eh, no, en, en general, en mi vida estoy una, soy una persona bastante organizada, pero en español la, el volumen de información es, es tan enorme que no estoy en este contexto. Y deseo que pueda mejorar este aspecto de mi uh, Muy bien. Uh, sistema de estudio. Sí. Muy bien. Well, that's excellent. Thank you, Greg. Greg, you Spanish. You know, we, we met, we started to talk a good while ago and you had a good level then, but your Spanish, your level of Spanish is fantastic and your command of it and also your, the confidence when you're speaking. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Mm. Um, Greg, a top tip for our, our viewers Um, what would you recommend to somebody, you know, something that's really helped you, perhaps? Well, something that I do every day, and it's a top tip directly from you, but I don't think a lot of people do it, is reading out loud to yourself. And I do it every day, and believe, some days I really don't feel like doing it. Although usually when I start, I kind of start to enjoy it. But I do it uh, usually 20 if I have extra time, 30 minutes a day. And I also, and I have had different thoughts about this over the years, But at the moment, my thinking is that you're better off to be reading something that is a little bit below, not above, but a little bit below, just a little bit mm -hmm. below your level. And also, I really like reading stuff that I've already read in English because when I read it in Spanish, I can um, 
really like I'm not really paying that much attention to the story because I already know it. Mm -hmm. I'm paying attention to how exactly should this word be pronounced? And I'm thinking about, oh, why are they using subjunctive here? That's kind of interesting. And um, um, I may change my mind about that in the future. But the moment I think you're better off to read, say, I'm reading Harry Potter, Mm -hmm. for example, Mm -hmm. in English. And it's just, it's super fun to read it. And and I don't, I'm not looking at the dictionary every five minutes because when I see a word that I don't recognize, nine times out of ten, I can make it out accurately just from the context and from my knowledge of the story sure. so that's so i would say reading in in aloud is uh, in both of them is uh is 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 a good practice and um say it's something that i uh do every day and i even go so far and this is going to sound weird but i even go so far i don't always do this but i record myself regularly and then i go back and look at it and i think what did i do wrong there and um i do actually make recordings every single day but not necessarily a reading a book. Sometimes I just make them about like a like a video diary kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And the only reason to do that is to go back and look at it and say, you know, this didn't really sound right when I said that. So, yeah, yeah, it's a bit weird. But, yeah, no, it's yeah. not weird. It's not weird at all. I I have done exactly the same. It's one of the things that I recommend to people is read, but also record and then listen because that is it's frightening, isn't it? It's frightening it is. when you start it, listening. You know, Actually, I have to say, and I probably said this to you, but I was completely, um, what's the word I want here, humbled, coming back from your course in September and looking at the video. I think uh, you guys sent the videos out on WhatsApp, I think, of each student. And I was listening to myself, and I was just like, oh, my God, it sounds so terrible. And so <laughs> for that, for that, I had, that was, I had been doing recordings before that every now and then, but now I do them every single day just to try to, 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 to get into that habit of listening to myself and uh and improving the way i sound but that was yeah that that, that course uh you know i, I totally yeah you know, sorry i'm getting off track a little bit here but it's okay i just i enjoyed that week that was so fun and in terms of um learning the biggest thing i got out of that course was how terrible i sounded on video <laughs> and how much i wanted to improve that so that was that was a real eye-opener for me so yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you know the uh, motivation, you know the, the the motivation of the of the carrot or the stick, and sometimes mm. the carrot's great as a motivation, but sometimes the stick's not bad as well. You know, and I've had it was recently that I had a stick motivation when somebody said your Spanish is really great, but your diction's not good enough, and mm. and from there every day I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading one book and I'm reading it for the fourth time. Mm, just just mm. starting again and it's purely mm. because i like the content but also i I'm, i know the book so well that i can actually focus on what i'm saying you know mm-hmm. so so exactly what you're doing greg so that's a brilliant tip thank you very much for that greg it's uh, you got a bit well you, i don't know what time you got up but you, we started this interview just after six in the morning in vancouver it's only three o'clock in spain so i want to thank you for for that for getting up so early particularly when oh, you I'm always- but that's that no problem i know you are i know you are yeah you're so dedicated greg thank you very much i'm going to post this video today hopefully so everybody can see it and get the value out of it because you've you've said so many things that have been of value that i think they're going to help a lot of lot of students who who are starting out and who are also well down the road so thank you very much greg you're welcome it is a pleasure to talk to you again i hope uh, everything is going well with the courses and with cynthia and sebastian and damien damien and uh Everything's sure wonderful. Everything's wonderful. Couldn't be better. Very good. Okay, well, say hello to Cynthia and Anna when you see Anna again for me, and uh, I hope we'll talk again soon at some point. Okay, okay.